Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB 25 video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a method that allows you to maximize your coach points. In essence, being able to buy way more packages using less points beyond the level 50 cap of points that it currently allows you. Now, I've been getting this question a lot, so I did want to address this because a lot of people have been asking how to go beyond this. From the first moment I had started playing this game and I saw this, this setup, I had considered this. My only concern was how hard it would be to get to it based on where the package is, but there is a way around this. Before we do get into the video, guys, as always, subscribe if you're new. Every subscription matters. I do appreciate each and every one of you that are helping us on our way to 30K. Also, if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get a thousand likes on this video? I know it's tough. I think we've reached a thousand one other time. I'm trying to set like goals now to see if it can make it a little more competitive. Every like helps the video out. So I really appreciate each and every one of you that take the second to like the video. Comment down below if you have any other variations to this, just like any other video I've made, any other video that any content creator makes. There's always, especially in Dynasty, more so than other games that I've realized, like let's say Mutt and, you know, Cut. There are some variants to some of these methods. There's always a way to kind of one up it or add a tweak to things. So comment it down below. Use the use the comment sections like I keep saying as a forum and help other people out and and help me out as well. It goes a long way. If you haven't already, follow me over on Twitter. DM me directly if you need any help with this or anything else. And of course, if you haven't checked out Underdog, make sure to use my link down below. It is super simple to sign up. It helps support the channel. And of course, get ready for the CFB and NFL season for when we're posting picks and we're getting into it. So first and foremost, you're going to want to choose a team that has the CEO package unlocked. Now, I believe there's a few of these. There's Georgia, UNC, Clemson. There's probably maybe one or two more. I'm not entirely sure, but for the purposes of this, you can use any. I do want to lay out the variables though. The way this is going to work is going to matter how built your head coach is. And I believe of the bunch, Georgia has the best head coach. Clemson has a pretty good one. Uh, UNC has a pretty solid one, but you need the package unlocked and the better packages they also have beyond that will go a long way. So for the purpose of this video, we will be choosing Georgia. And from here, you want to pick a coordinator position. You can do offensive or defensive. Uh, that's really up to you. I prefer to go offensive in this situation just because it. I prefer offensive coordinator. That's just me. So you're going to want to create your offensive coordinator. You're going to want to go with create new so you can build them the way that you like. Pick new and go whichever way you want. I personally like recruiter, so that's where I'm going to start. So I at least have a head start in that direction. And then from here, we're going to go about breaking this all down. All this is pretty irrelevant for what we want to do. So you can just continue to go forward here, continue, continue and keep moving on so you get into it. So once you're in here, I want to go over to coach abilities. And I'm going to break this down for you and I'm going to show you guys why I was hesitant at first to make this at least a few weeks ago when I first had thought about this it was because of how hard it could be to get here. But because you're able to pick coordinator, it is a workaround for this. So when you go over to head coach, if you go over to Georgia's CEO spot, if you go down here, you'll see they have a bundle discount. So discount on coach abilities when another coach has the same ability. So basically this gives you, this allows the coach to buy a package that another coach within their crew has right so take a look the defensive coordinator is an a minus your c minus here and the head coach is an a plus so they have a lot of things already unlocked so if you take a look here for instance the recruiter the georgia head coach has tier one and tier two purchased usually these cost five right you see that and these cost eight but if we go over to our offensive coordinator which we just created and we want to purchase things if we go here these cost three on the first two because they're already owned by the georgia coach these would all cost five because they're not now in this instance, I would, I would have preferred that the coach had more in recruiting. So keep that in mind. You may want to go check out the UNC and Clemson coaches and see, because if they have better stuff in recruiting, you could utilize that. Cause in this instance, you basically have to kind of replicate what the Georgia coach has to maximize this. So like for instance, strategists right here, they have the two. And then for tactician, they have this bottom row right here. So you do want to kind of be taking that as you will and just seeing what they have, because you are going to kind of be following their mold to get the points. But either way, honestly, you're going to want most of this anyways. And because you're getting the, the discount, you're going to notice really quickly. So for just some quick math here, I'm not a big spreadsheet guy. I'm not going to break down every last detail in this for you guys. I'm going to make it pretty simple to understand. So when you go to recruiter and you see that they have these two right here, the great thing here is that you're getting them for three versus five. So let's just say that's 60%, right? So you're going to, it's going to cost you 60% less to copy their build in essence. So with that being said, at 50, at level 50, you could accrue 490 points. So let's say it would take you 490 points to copy their build. Instead, 490 times 0.6 is 294. So it would take you 294 points now to copy the build of a level 50 coach, which does in essence mean that you can go ahead and still have an extra almost 200 points to spend almost, right? This will vary depending on what packages you're purchasing and how you're doing this, but that's basically how that's going to work. Now, remember there are some other things in here 
in terms of like bundling and other things you can do in terms of waiting now remember this too you can also there's a few variants few variable ways to do this so first and foremost this is the first way you copy them you don't have to spend the points right away you can just accrue them and you could just keep waiting for your coach to accrue more points before you spend anything now keep in mind what you can do is also unlock this for yourself so with that being said you can sim through the season and you can kind of boost up how you unlock things so for instance if you look at the coach abilities for your ceo coach there are some things that don't unlock like win full rivalry games there are half five players drafted there's a few of these things that you could have him unlock that then can then be upgraded as they get them so to do this you're going to want to sim through a few seasons and make sure they get all of this done which with georgia it's going to be super simple to have five players drafted it's going to be super simple to have two players drafted in the first round it's going to be simple to win four rivalry games win top 25 games and that's to unlock the elite trees and then hopefully to allocate things in that direction so again with that being said this goes for all those other coaches so you may want to check which one applies to you the best now what i'd recommend here doing now there are two approaches to this if you're in an online league it's going to be a lot harder to do this this is probably more catered towards a cpu league although if you're in an online league and no one took clemson or unc or one of those teams like especially unc might go under the radar you may be able to fly under the radar as a coordinator for a little bit kind of get these points going and then popping back out with the head coach offer you can go ahead and match their build but you also can just wait you can just wait while you unlock all these things and see what ends up happening while you also get other get other abilities so what i'd recommend from this point on doing if you are in an offline league if you want to just kind of set this up you can go ahead to custom schedules and just give your and give yourself the schedule you want as well as go in and give yourself force wins so if you go over to your schedule you can actually give yourself wins for everything you're gonna have to advance past the first week to actually see the finalized schedule because this is custom schedule week but at this point you can go ahead and just give yourself force wins and or force losses which i wouldn't see why you do that but you go over to team schedule and you can go in here and give yourself wins this will give you an easy way to sim through so if you click on it and you click on any of these you can force action so in this instance versus fcs southeast you are home here so you, you can give yourself a home win in this instance if you are home against clemson you can do force home win here and you can keep going through and doing the same thing kentucky's at to force away win and so on and so forth this will make sure you go undefeated while simming while you have your coach accrue other things while you get players drafted and while you unlock the other tiers also important while doing this again this all comes down to you as a user i've said this in all my other videos a lot of these methods are kind of like cheating slash cheesing the cpu but someone made a great point today they when you play them on heisman they cheat you all day they do they know your plays they know exactly what you're running everything works out so take that as you will but it's up to you uh the way i see this in some instances is like you don't have to necessarily start your career now right you can just do this you can accrue the maximum amount of points and get efficient with it and then you can start taking other offers and go where you want to go with this so that's the that's the most important thing here so once you've applied the force wins you are going to want to go ahead and advance to the first playoff like i said unless you want to actually play the game that's up to you but you do want to go through in advance and i'll show you why so after we sim through with all those wins first and foremost you get a ton of coaching points you level up quite a bit being that you are with georgia and you're you're hitting a lot of coaching goals and you're getting a lot of what you want make sure auto recruiting is also on that way you can just make sure that your team's still recruiting throughout all this but when you come over now to team schedule you're gonna want to do is you again you can play them but i'd recommend going through the playoffs one by one and force winning the game so obviously georgia has a buy but you do want to go through one by one in these college football playoffs and give yourselves the win and make sure that you do go ahead and get the bowl uh, get the national championship wins to make this a little bit easier on yourself that way you can continue to get all the goals you want and xp goals for your player that way you can continue to progress pretty easily and set yourself up so keep in mind right when you do this if you can get to level 50 through like two or three seasons of sims and you save all these points and use them just on discounted packages you will have the greatest coach in the game especially in an online league but in all finally you'll have the greatest coach in the game and you'll now be able to go ahead and have way more packages especially recruiting than everyone else and to keep in mind that even if you just do the discounted packages for 290 or whatever it is you then can use the remainder to just maximize your recruiting and you don't have to get all of them some of the discounted packages may suck Keep that in mind right if we go on back over to our coach abilities here you may come and notice that some of the abilities just aren't great you may look and see right here right tactician they may have ability to boost change of pursuit change of direction of pursuit do you need that not really so don't waste your points there just take the ones that are actually good or useful and like right here the bonus xp pretty good do i want them to stay hot through timeouts probably not i'll just buy the maybe pay it forward potentially if i wanted that right just take the ones that you absolutely think are useful in terms of here like booster complimentary visits these are pretty solid at the cheap price point so take the ones you want and then save the rest and so on and so forth right so you want to keep going through continue to keep force winning through and you'll quickly see how quickly this coach can grow so we've simmed through we gave ourselves force wins through the national championship as you saw from a level zero coach 
from a starting offensive coordinator coach with Georgia, we were able to grow our coach up onto a level 19 coach of 185, still have yet to spend a point. The key is going to be to just keep doing this. Make sure that you do accrue all your points and all your bonuses and spend first before leaving. We sim through the second season. Now, this was a great example to show you how this works. So we went zero to 20 in one season winning the Natty. In this second season where we didn't force on anything and Georgia somehow went six and six, we only went up like a two, maybe three levels max here, maybe one. So keep that in mind that force winning is super important to kind of speed run this coach. So remember, you have to go through and spend your points and get all your bonuses and get to level 50 before you leave. I'm just showcasing this to show a few other points in this video, but make sure you get to your level 50, you force one through and you get there and you spend all your points and all the bonus ones that you do want. Because as you see, this will be the last chance we have here to get the threes once we go to our new head coaching job that we did accept. So make sure you do go through and you do purchase all those beforehand. And now I'm gonna get to the next part so I can show you another aspect of this. So this is what I did wanna showcase, which is super cool about this you do actually keep your bonuses from the previous coach. So as you see here, win five playoff games, that's three. Win a national championship, that's one. So the point here is in that second season, third season, so on and so forth, you wanna make sure that you do keep going through and force winning the national championship. By doing that, you will actually be your own CEO coach. So this is where the second part of this video comes into play. Let's just say you took all the bonuses from the first coach, right? Only the ones you wanted. So let's say you have a total of 490 points, but you only liked about 220 points worth of bonuses from the first coach. So what you're gonna wanna do is, you're going to wanna spend those 200 that you definitely wanted, right? Just do the ones of the guys you definitely wanted from the first one and save the remaining 200, give or take. At that point, once you come to your new school, you will have the CEO coach unlocked. And by the way, you don't have to take a great job offer. You could take like a one-star, two-star school and build your way up just as a CEO coach with better benefits, which will help you a lot. But at this point, you'll have CEO, program builder, you'll have everything unlocked if you do actually go ahead, except for the ones you have to spend points in, you're gonna have to spend points. We haven't spent points in this guy yet, so it depends on what you end up doing. But you'll have 200 points with CEO unlocked. Once you're in CEO, you can go and do bundle discount which means coach abilities when another coach has the same ability, you get a discount. So the first thing you do is go in here and spend hundred on any tree, which you already did because you already would have used some of the discounts from the other guy. You can go into CEO and you can now buy the bundle discount again, but for your coach. And now you have 18. Now the key here is your coordinator. So if you go to a great school, of course, this is where it's going to differ. If you go to a bad school, I wouldn't recommend spending more points yet. I'd wait to get better coordinators. If you go to a great school that has A, B plus coordinators, they're going to have stuff like motivator maxed out, let's say, right? So this coach has motivator maxed out on, let's just say the kickers, or let's do, that looks ugly. Let's do the linebackers, linebackers. So when you go back over to your coach and you go to buy your motivator packages, or I'm going to purchase this for the sake of this video, and you go in here, these will be discounted. The reason they're not yet is because we don't have the bundle discount yet, but if you did, these would be discounted. So this is a great way to double, triple, quadruple up on your benefits. So to recap it all for you guys, you're going to want to pick, be a coordinator for Georgia or one of the other teams. You're going to want to force win the first two seasons and make sure you win at least two natties and complete all the other goals. Once all the goals are completed, such as Georgia, you may want to manually recruit to make sure you do get all those goals completed. Once you do all those goals, when you end up leaving this team, and again, you might, I would wait to your level 50, get to level 50 first, it'll be super simple, at which point you can then come out and take your own head coaching job. Once you have your own head coaching job, it's probably easier to take a good school because then you'll have good coordinators, but save your points. Only spend the ones that you absolutely want from the other coach. Once you leave, like I said, you will have the remaining points available. And these are the points you're going to want to save. The first thing you're going to do when coming in here is going to go to CEO and buy the bundle discount. And from that point on, you're going to want to keep finding coordinators that suit your suit your needs. So let's say your recruiting wasn't great because with the Georgia head coach, only he only had some on the basic recruiter. You may want to hire a coordinator who's an elite recruiter and has some of these potentially or just go through and see what else you could have. The new recruiter may have the top row available. The new recruiter may have some other things that you wanted. They may have some talent developer stuff you wanted. This is where you're gonna be able to diversify your coach to an insane amount, right? Because if you just followed the other Georgia recruiter, you would have basically just had cheaper packages on their recruiter and that's, that's great. This is where you can get a lot in recruiter and a lot in talent developer and a lot in motivator because you're getting everything for 60% less. So let's say typically you can only max out two with 490. Now you'd be able to almost max out four or a little under, right? Give or take in terms of maxing out the best things from each. This is the way to make the most elite coach in CFB 25. Again, in an online league, it may be a little bit more difficult unless you can go to a team like UNC that no one's taken. It really depends on the rules of your league and how you want to go about that. 
but in offline leagues, this is a great way to kind of set yourself up and set the foundation for your coaching career. And it doesn't really matter that you're simming through seasons because it's all the same at the end of the day. It's going to be all these new recruits. Nothing's going to have any consistency anyways, but it comes down to you and your morals and how well and how much you want to create a storyline for yourself here. But if you follow this, your coach will be elite. The way I, want, the way I see it is instead of having a level 50 coach, you're going to have the equivalent of like a level 75 to 100 coach because of all the extra points you're going to be able to accrue through doing this. I do want to quickly give a shout out to Fendler. He posted this video a few days ago as well. Like I said, I had the idea for how this would work as a head coach. I never considered the offensive coordinator side of it, which was a great, was a great variable and switch around perspective on this method, which made it way more possible than trying to get the head coach version of it first, especially starting at Georgia. So I do want to just make sure I give some credit on that one. But that's about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If this video helped you out at all, please give it a thumbs up. A thousand likes would go a long way in helping the channel out. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below any other methods you guys may have or variances to this that make this even better. Help out the viewers down below and the community. And of course, check out Underdog and follow me over on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.